Hi, welcome to Ragsdale Creek Workshop. My name's Anthony Brown, and I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, and you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And hit that little uh, bell to get your notifications. Uh, thank y'all for stopping by. We're going to fast forward through the machining process of this uh, splitting saw arbor. And at the end of the uh, machining process, I will show you the finished uh, product and take it apart and show you uh, all the little details of it. Dummy me mess with the camera again. Oh well, I'm learning.
Well, we're over here at the bench now. We're going to take this apart where you can see exactly how it was made. These little slitting saws, I've had them for almost a year. Planning on the making the arbor for them, but with the shop redo and all, I never did get around to it. What I did, this is a about 20 thousandths higher than the thickness of the blade. Uh, and I, um, this is a 16 millimeter hole and I made this uh, 629 and a half and it fits like a glove. And uh, this is just turned down to clean up from a one inch. And this is uh, five eighths. Uh, and I drilled and tapped a uh, eight millimeter hole for a flathead screw. And this is the end cap. This is the recess for the uh, locator. And it's about uh, 15 thousandths to 20 thousandths. I say 50. It's about 15 thousandths, I guess, smaller than uh, uh, when it's put all the way together, smaller than the uh, uh, cutter. So it tightens up real good on the cutter. And then I counterboard that side of the hole uh, and uh, made the uh, cap the same size. Well, I turned this down all at one time. All of it's the same size. And then I parted this, this part off before I made this. But that's the way, it, uh, the way I made it. And uh, then I cut, uh, I had some little pieces I was making. Uh, these little pieces here. And I uh, didn't videotape it, but I had to uh, slit them to where it would hold in the, uh, uh, hold these holders. And it worked fine. I uh, made two of these. I don't, I don't know where I done with the other one. <laughs> I lose more stuff. I spend more time hunting stuff than I do making stuff. And, uh, but, uh, that's what I, that's what I made it for. I was needing it real quick. So here's the other one. Here's the other one. This, uh, this is a, uh, I made these the other day. This is a, uh, 12 millimeter hole. And that's a 10 millimeter hole. And, uh, I thought just putting that, uh, groove in there that they would tighten up on both, uh, uh, rods, but they didn't. They, uh, it, uh, it would uh, tighten up on this big one, but it wouldn't tighten up on the little one. So after I slit, Use the slitting saw and slit them in two. They work fine. So it works. And I uh, uh, appreciate y'all stopping by and watching the video. And uh, uh, subscribe if you'd like. Because I'm going to have more videos with making. Uh, mostly I'll just be making tools and uh, things to use around the home and the shop. And uh, if you have something you'd like to see made, uh, send me a picture and some, uh, or a drawing or something, and I'll try to make it. Uh, other than that, I just got a bunch of stuff that I've, uh, uh, made a list of that I'd like to make. And, uh, as my back, I have a real bad back. I broke a back, my back in a car wreck and I have to just do as it lets me do. So, uh, like I said, this is getting long winded. Uh, just, uh, appreciate y'all stopping by and, uh, listen, be safe. If you're going to work in the shop, don't do things like I do them because it may not be the right way or, or the, uh, uh, correct way to do it because I've been in this trade, uh, for around 35, 40 years. And, uh, it's, uh, it takes a lot of learning, uh, you have to be extra careful. I've seen hands mashed, fingers cut off, uh, and uh, bad lacerations. So please be safe. And uh, don't try this if uh, 
you're not comfortable doing uh, machine work and uh, if you if you do do it, please be safe. Wear your safety glasses. Uh, don't wear gloves around moving uh, parts on the machine because you can get a hand even jerked off, but you can really get a wrist broke. I've seen a boy get his wrist broke on a drill press, so please uh, be safe. And uh, thank you and subscribe and come back to see me.